ornate crate um, kit. This is just, just beautiful. And there's a, a very nice booklet that comes with it with a lot of information. And I'm loving this. So it comes with what the theme today is going to be. A lot of information. So this the theme in October is called Verde Gris. And Verde Gris is that made finish and uh, like pastel colors. And I am loving, loving this. So very autumn like. This is just wonderful. Now these are the four colors that come in the kit. Well it depends on which one you get. And uh, see there's there's the uh, ash, blush, olive and mousse and I got the mousse and it's this beautiful it's all Dean Wolves now this is 50% alpaca 30% merino wool 20% nylon it's a DK weight it has 236 yards and they suggest a size 3 to 5 knitting needles but I'm using a six so this is very very nice very soft so I'm deciding to make something very interesting here and I will continue in a minute the way this is is that I cast it on my stitches I cast it on 80 stitches and then I knitted the first row and started this way so this is the way this is how high is going to be and this is how wide so that means my hands are going to go this way so what I did is use the number six US needle and uh, I did if you want to do at the edges if you I'm going to be crocheting an edge to bring the stitches in a little. If you don't know how to crochet or don't want to, please cast on your stitches and do six rows, about six rows of knit to purl to ribbing and you would do that at the beginning and at the end. So that's something to be considered. So think about it and then I will start. I'm going to show you how to do the loop stitch. We do have a video on how to do it. Please look it up, but I'm still going to remind you here. So, since I want my stitches to be alternated, what I want to do now is I am going to knit the first one, and this one also already has the loop from the row before, so I knit it, and I'm going to do the loop on this one. So I go into the next stitch. Do not take the stitch off your left hand needle. So now you have the same stitch left, same stitch right. Bring your yarn to the front, place your thumb on top, and then take your yarn to the back. So now you have that loop there, and you're holding it with your thumb. So you're going to knit the left, take it off your needle and then the right goes over that left one so now it gets anchored so the next one I don't make the loop I just knit so let's do it again bring your yarn the left stays there I don't take it off my needle bring your yarn to the front and hug your thumb and then knit the left one and the right one goes over so that's it and so row number one you knit row number two you make your loops row number three you knit and row number four you you do the loops alternated so that's it and what I did is that I measured how big I wanted it for my hand to go whoops I'm sorry for my hand to go over like so 
and I think I wanted like 13 or 14 inches and then I need to bind off. Okay, so I finished binding off and I'm going to leave my yarn there because I'm going to be using it for sewing. Now you can fold this in half and sew that part there. Now, if this had been made with circular needles, that would have been very, very easy because you cast on your 80 stitches. And first row would be a pearl. Second row you make, you pass your marker and make your loops. Third row you pass your marker and, and pearl. And fourth row you pass your marker and make your loops. And you alternate those four rows. But whatever you wish, I just wanted to show you that you can do it both ways. And now we're going to sew that part there. Okay, so I cut my yarn and I'm going to pass it through the last loop right there. And of course this is one side where I put my hand and this is the other side. And I'm going to be sewing the part in the middle. So let's see. And it's not going to show at all, the seam doesn't show. So you go and get a loop from this side, right in there, and pick up the first stitch, so like that you create like a new stitch in between. See? Let me show you. So there it is. You don't see it, so now you go from knot to knot on one side. We do have videos on how to sew the sides. So you go from one side to the other. You come in and out on the same side. In and out on the same side. And I will see you when I finish sewing this because now we're going to be talking about the lining. And that's a very easy thing. I mean, you'd be surprised. <laughs> it is... Uh, you don't even have to sew it if you don't want to. So, let's see. And I'll be right back. Okay, I already did two rows of single crochet on this side. And let's do that on the other side also. And I'll start where the seam is so I don't get confused. And put a hook there and start to single crocheting. So, single crochet. Just Plain single crochet all around on each one of these, and that's it. The single crochet around this is a number three and a half hook, three and a half millimeters. So just go around. And I will see you when I finish this, because now we really need to start talking about the lining. <laughs> I keep telling you, but next on the next stage we're going to be doing that. So now we'll be talking about the lining, and I can see that I have, without counting the edges, I have 13 and a half inches from side to side. So I found this fleece and I love it because it's going to be warm on the inside. And I am measuring that I have 13 and a half inches from here to where I need to cut. So let's do that. So I have my fabric here and I want to fold this in four parts. So I have one and then fold one fourth and then fold this so like that I have the fuzzy parts outside and inside and all these is look at, looking toward the inside so 
once I have this I am going to be sewing just a whip stitch along this so I can keep these two together you know with just regular needle and thread and then I will be sewing this one with a fold and this one so they stay together and then once I have that I will place all this inside the muff there we go. and unfold it and so like that I have the fuzzy part outside and inside and it's double on each side so like that now I was thinking about doing with gray but I think the of white will look better and if you can sew the inside so this these two parts to the edge the inside edge of your muff and go around and then do the same thing on the other side and sew these two parts and like that you have a very very warm very pretty muff so thank you very much for watching please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll take some pictures so that you can see how this looks